Hello, good morning. I'm looking after things just for today for Lorraine. Um, coming up, remembering Sir Roger Moore as his daughter Deborah joins me to look back on his life. We'll be hearing some of his last ever words. Also, the woman who refused to let her daughter be taught by an overweight nursery worker. But can you really be too fat to teach? We'll be debating that shortly. Then... I don't feel that I'm battling cancer. I don't feel that I'm fighting cancer. I am simply being treated for cancer. Victoria Derbyshire reveals how she's using her experience to inspire others. And as she takes to the dance floor for the first time, Debbie McGee explains why doing Strictly has brought her closer to her late husband, Paul. First, though, she's the Hollywood star about to appear as the baddie. The day she wrote goodbye letters to her children, TV presenter Victoria Derbyshire opens up about her cancer diagnosis. Also, it was a nice way to get a job too, you know, a friend kind of tipping you off. Hollywood star Julianne Moore reveals which A-list friend helped secure her latest role. More on that after the break. Welcome back. Uh, lots more still. After the break. What are you most excited about? Everything. I just Everything. can't believe I'm actually here. Everybody's wonderful. Will she be magic on the dance floor? Debbie McGee can't contain her excitement ahead of her Strictly debut. Welcome back. Debbie McGee is here in you. Thank you very much for your company today. Frankie and Wayne Bridge tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye.